We're in an airport and about to go to Russia. Maybe end up with a couple of prison tattoos and a mail order mistress. Our visas aren't really in order. <laughs> but, I mean, there's a lot of covertness. We got to lie about who we are. Honestly, a successful trip for us is just staying out of jail and playing the show. Yeah, and it, avoiding Nazis. At the end of a seven-week European tour, Sarah Bob Balsey are just days away from heading back to New York and their mother's warm embrace. All that stands between them and a slice of home-cooked pizza is a 12-hour stopover in Frankfurt, a bottle of Moscovian moonshine, and 300 Russian punks with a complete disregard for their own personal safety. What's up? It's Honor again. Um, we just sound checked and uh, we stayed at a hostel last night. We woke up super fucking early. There's blood stains on the sheets, and uh, the guy that took us up the elevator had a shank mark in his throat. Everyone looks pretty tough here. Um, we ate lunch, and there was a, an older woman thing going on over there, and they looked like they could whoop my ass. So We're going to take off from here and uh, go check out some, some sites. So this last tour has been pretty fucking crazy. We started uh, in the UK just touring by ourselves and um, met up with a band called The Horrors, went on tour with them. But the show's in uh, Europe and people are down. They seem like they like to drink out here and party and that's our kind of people, so it's been rad. Yeah, I mean, multiple run-ins with the law in different countries, drugs, girls, fights, too many. Mel slept with the tranny prostitute in Amsterdam. That was pretty crazy. Uh, we just popped out of the van. We're like, it's some Red Square, I think it is. Ice Cream Church building. Um, you see me, I'm gonna live in a place like that in a couple of years. Oh, Lennon's in that yeah, yeah. thing over there. That's his tomb. John Lennon is very yeah. interesting. Yeah, John Lennon. <laughs> you should start taking notice of pe how people look at us because they look like they hate us. I feel like a merry prankster. Oh, we're gonna get a shot of moonshine. I'm stoked. We're entering the booze tent. Wait, are we supposed what? to just shoot this, yeah. dude? Yeah. I might puke. It's our first shot of moonshine in Russia. Cheers uh, to, to Russia and it's shit. cute, dude. Yeah, yes. You guys fucked up. We met skateboarding and doing drugs at Union Square in New York City. That was approximately, I'd say, like three years ago or so. Yeah, we just started as friends, skateboarding, partying, and then eventually fucking started playing music just for fun. We were just throwing parties for our friends. Yeah, we played anywhere when we started. We would have played yeah. your basement. We played pizza shops. Often, you know, we played three songs twice for a year. We were 18 when we wrote our first album, pretty much. And you know what? Like, looking back, those were the golden days. There wasn't a fucking care in the world, you know? Now we're dealing with security guards and ticket sales and pre-sales and fucking drink Order tickets crossings. and fucking <laughs> writers and all that bullshit. We used to get in the van and not have a pair of fucking pants on. Basically, we figured out that we had a common goal of partying and having fun at home together in Brooklyn and when we had the opportunity to do it everywhere else with, with anyone that we ever met, we were like, hell yeah, balls to the wall, let's do this. Yo, we're at Love Life Tattoo, about to get some Russian style prison tats. And Luckily we're not in Russian prison yet. Not yet. I have a tattoo of Stiv Bader's from the Dead Boys right there that I really like. It looks like an 80s lesbian. I'm getting a Russian prison tattoo. This means like uh, kill snitches and bitches. When in Moscow, right? Uh, we're on the way to the venue to uh, 16 tons. I'm gonna drink 16 tons of booze. Jason's probably gonna hook up with a chick that weighs 16 tons. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be some fun. Come along. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, we just showed up at the venue back at 16 Tons. The first band, Transylvanians, about to go on. We've just been partying for a few minutes, drinking and shit, getting ready. Dude, Russian punks are nuts, dude. I feel like they're gonna pull out guns in the mosh pit. It's gonna be a great night. It's gonna be bonkers. Kids were already crowd surfing just to the DJ in the opening skate video before a band got on. So we're about to have a lot of fucking fun, dude. The crowd's going crazy, shit's going off. I just crowd surf, just cut my hand open again for the second time this tour. I mean, good time. Good thing I don't need stitches this time, but I'm having a blast. Everyone's out here partying, we're getting wasted. Our show is about to go off. We're about to have the, it's the last show of the tour, so it makes sense that it's just about to be crazy. It's gonna go buck. stuff I like T-Rex and Mark Bolin and the zombies and I don't really feel like I should be here and like everyone's just like yelling and like moshing and I'm just like really nervous you know just like I really like Madonna you know like I just feel really strange <laughs> <Your rules. laughs> Yo man, we're Cerebral Balls out of Brooklyn, New York. We're having fun, we're in Russia, we're in Moscow. We're Cerebral Ballsy, man. And we're doing what we want to do. And you know what? You can't say that. <laughs> <laughs>